what is up y'all all right guys so today we're out here kind of like at this creek that i used to go to if you guys remember back i used to do a lot of videos at this creek right here i have not come here in a long time and somebody actually told me that fishing up like that way is really good i've never ventured up like really far that way so yeah guys pretty much we're going to be fishing this creek today but we're not just going to be fishing with any rod and reel today we are actually going to be using a micro pen rod from Amazon a lot of you guys like there's always one person on every video that always gives me the suggestion use the micro pen rod I swear every freaking video is at least one person it might be the same guy honestly I don't even know but I mean people have been asking me to do this for months and months and months basically this is the tiniest fishing rod on Amazon the tiniest rod tiniest reel tiniest combo setup now I know other people have fished with this but I've never really watched any videos or like really seen anybody fish with it so I'm hoping that it's gonna be like kind of usable the reason that I'm saying that is because when I took this thing out of the package like I'm not even joking this thing is it feels like a piece of it just feels so so cheap I feel like if I actually hook anything decent size this thing would freaking snap so yeah i brought that and then also guys i brought one of my setups just like a normal spinning rod i have a little ned rig tied on hopefully, here hopefully i mean if we don't catch anything on micro pen rod then we'll still have this guy right here it'd be cool i mean as i said i haven't been here in a while this used to be like one of my favorite spots to come and film videos it's just a nice little quaint spot all right enough talking let's get this thing rigged up i'm actually really excited to use this let's see if we can catch any fish here today All right, guys, so here she is. Let me give you guys a better look real quick. Basically, this thing, I think this comes off. It's like literally a little fake pen looking thing. Yeah, this does not really feel too good at all. As you guys can see, I don't think there's any way, like, first of all, I don't think this button does anything at all. Like, it doesn't have a stop or like a braking system. It just rolls back if there's the tiniest bit of pressure. So that's definitely gonna be very, very interesting. I think first what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna put a tiny hook and then a tiny split shot on here. I don't think I mentioned this either, guys. This freaking thing right here man this was so so hard to spool up i got some line on there now but it really like honestly took me a long time to figure it out and then to actually put the line on oh my gosh dude so this thing is already giving me freaking trouble all right let me get tied up here all right now i'm all rigged up down there now i just need to find some kind of worms or something oh right there little worm it like just rained so it's like really really uh oh wow this is like really moist down here you kick over these leaves Everything is looking pretty good. I got worm on the hook. We have two decent sized split shots on there. I put two split shots on just because I feel like this thing is going to be really difficult to cast if I only have one. And yeah, man, that's pretty much uh setup right here. This is going to be interesting. There's some kids frolicking over there, so hopefully they don't like come splashing in this water, disturb all the fish. But yeah, man, this is going to be the first ever cast with this thing. I'm trying to figure out how to cast with it. All right, so the weight doesn't just make it fall. This button does absolutely nothing. I think I'm just... This is weird, man. All right, I'm just going to like take this out. Oh my gosh, I literally just accidentally put this in the water. I think I got bit right away from a fish. What the heck was that? Dude, oh my gosh. All right, fish are here and hungry. I was just trying to take some line out. Something just whacked this, as you guys can see. Absolutely caught me off guard. We almost lost our worm there, dude. First official cast, just gonna kind of throw this into the water like that. All right, we're on them now. This thing. Oh, I'm getting hit. Oh, guys, first fish. Oh no, did he come off? Oh, we got him. Yo, it's this little reel. Let's go, dude. Oh God, I forgot there's no brake system. All right, let's go, guys. First fish on the micro pen rod, the tiniest rod on Amazon. We caught the tiniest fish in the creek. Hey man, that's not bad though. I am not complaining. Nice, oh, nice little beautiful bluegill. Look at those colors, man. That is hilarious. All right, little buddy, get out of here. Whew, let's go, dude. Oh, and these kids are in the water and fishing. All right, anyway, let's give this guy a second little cast here. Let's see if we can hook up with something a little bit bigger, man. This reel is such a piece of... Oh, I'm getting bit right away again. Oh, yeah. Second fish of the day. Come here. I can barely get a good hook set on. What do we have here? Ooh, yo, that is so sick. Man, this is actually a lot of fun. Second fish here, guys. These things are just tearing them up. This is a different species as well. Look at the tiny, tiny little bass. Micro pen rod micro bass definitely a cute little guy he demolished my worm hopefully this dude will grow up one day to be a freaking eight pounder can you imagine just like an eight pound bass swimming around this little creek right here one day man one day just eat your wheaties kid there he goes Whew. this is so much fun all right so what i could say so far about this rod and reel is not much honestly i feel like i have a better chance of catching a fish hand lining and that's 
kind of saying something. Like, this is supposed to be a rod and reel. It's supposed to help you out. I feel like it's almost counterproductive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm having a lot of fun. It's a cool, like, little novelty item to use. Let's see if we get hit right away again. This spot is producing. Oh, yeah, there's a tap. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what do we have here? This is the little honey hole over here. Dude, this... Oh my gosh. Guys, I think this is even smaller than the first little bluegill we caught here today. I did not think that that was possible. Oh my goodness. Very, very pretty colors once again. Like those are very vibrant. Oh, back into the water he goes. All right guys, so I've been fishing with this thing here for a little while, just kind of throwing it in this little same spot with the live bait. And I've just been getting like a bunch of little bluegills. This seems to be like the bluegill hotspot, at least for like throwing night crawlers in. So we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna throw my other rod and reel combo out here. It has a little Ned rig on it. See if we can get any smallies. So yeah, let's switch over real quick. Just cast a little bit here. I'm not finished with the little uh, micro rod. We're gonna walk down a little bit as I said before. Yeah man, let's throw this Ned rig a little bit. All right, I don't think this creek is ready for the fire this thing is about to give it. This thing is like my trusted lure. If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, man, you know the Ned Rig is literally like, it's just one of my favorite ways to fish. It's so fun. Oh, I'm getting, I, I just got hit right there. These are actually a pretty good imitation of crawfish and there are a lot of crawfish in this creek. If you guys remember, I used to do like some crawfish hunting. I did a crawfish catch and cook. I caught some crawfish and I fished with them here. I mean, there's just, oh, oh. something was on it crawfish are a big part of the food chain around here especially for more predatorial fish you know like the smallies largies even i mean they stock trout in here i wonder if the trout eat some of the crawfish that are in here too oh yeah there we go there we go guys oh that is a decent fish right there that is like what we were looking for Come here, come here, come here. Oh my gosh. What? That is a first for me. What in the heck? We just got a freaking trout. <laughs> wet my hands real quick. That is the first time I've ever had a trout eat my Ned Rig. And hey, let me get this guy unhooked. There it is, man. What the heck? That is so sick. As I said, I've never had a trout eat my Ned Rig. There you guys go. There's a nice view of them. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to give you guys a nice view. There he goes off that way. He just kind of wanted to leave that is so so cool i was literally just talking about that guys i was saying yo do you think trout eat crawfish next thing what do you know i didn't think there's any trout left in here Whew. now guys that's not like a definite like that trout eat crawfish like that's not a it's not a good like way to test your hypothesis i mean i was just bouncing this thing around he could have just thought it was anything really and came and smacked it that's just so wild to me i've never caught a trout on a ned rig i never even thought about catching a trout on a ned rig that's just i keep saying that's just so cool man dude i wish i could throw this ned rig around on that smaller little micro rod I have over there, but I, it, that would just not work out. Let me know if you guys have any tips for throwing with that thing, because honestly, like I suck at it. I have to like unravel everything before I can actually cast it. I could not even find a way to actually like throw a cast, you know? Okay, okay, okay. So as I was pitching this little Ned rig around, I just had like kind of like a brain blast. I used to come to this creek. Oh God, that's a little bit cold. And I used to come over here and kind of, oh, that water. Pretty much I would come here and I would hunt down some crawfish and I think I might try to do that right now. Because the problem I'm having right now is every time I drop a worm into the water, it gets eaten by a bluegill. I mean, that's not so bad. A fish is a fish. But I want to see maybe if I put a crawfish on the hook and get bit by something a little bigger so we can really put that micro rod to the test. I just have to find a little crawfish in the water right here now. One thing I am more aware about now when I'm doing this is that there could be snakes in these holes. I don't know what it is, but I've been coming, oh my gosh, I almost just fell. I've been coming across so many snakes recently. Yep. Yep, got one. Whew. That took a lot longer than it should have. All right, let's get out of here. All right, yep. So this guy's going right on the hook. I'm gonna go through the back tail just like that. All right, we're ready to throw this in. Let's go back to that little spot over there. Oh, it's getting hit. Crawfish getting hit. I mean, that's gotta be something bigger right? if it's hitting the crawfish. I can't even see it. It's behind this rock over here. All right, you know what guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna walk down that way. We're gonna wade and see just where it takes us, man. I don't have any waders with me. I don't know how deep it's going to get. Let me grab this. Let's put it where it belongs. I'm just kidding. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's actually a fishing rod in there. What the heck? Loki kind of tempted to 
see what exactly this is. This is a Shakespeare. Holy. Oh, I just got the shivers. There was a giant. I don't know if you guys see that or not. There's a giant, giant spider. Like a spider I've never freaking kind of seen before. On that rod. It was the Shakespeare micro series. It said I'll go pick it up and put it in the trash can in a sec. It scared the freaking crap out of me. All right. So I've been walking down this way a little bit. And now there are like houses right here. So I'm pretty much like in people's backyards right now. That guy has a huge TV. <laughs> I think he's watching like America's Funniest Video or something. All right, I feel like a creep. Let's keep moving here. Just imagine watching TV sitting in your house and you look behind you in the creek. There's just some weirdo watching TV with you. Oh man, all right. This is uh, this is looking pretty good right here. Guys, this is, I mean, if I've ever seen one before, this is literally a Ned Rig paradise. Oh my gosh, it just looks so good. Well, there we go. I still have it? There we go, guys. I thought it came off. What do we have here? Oh, Lordy. Well, hey, that's a new species for the day, at least. Oh my gosh. The color, oh man. Like, just out of this world. Like, wow. I need to take a picture of this guy. A little red breast sunfish on the Ned Rig. I'll let this guy go down there. See ya, buddy. There's a fish. There's a fish. What do we have here? A little bit nicer. Woo! On the Ned Rig, under the bridge right here. I actually got snagged, so I came over to the land. Ooh. He's a little feisty guy. Second largey of the day. This guy's a little tubby. He's got a little chub to him. There he goes. Whew. All right, guys, I just got back to my car. Waiting in water is actually a pretty good workout. I actually almost busted my butt. Today was definitely one of those days where it's just like, you're not gonna catch a million fish. You're not gonna catch the biggest fish, but you get like one or two pretty cool catches here or there. I mean, I'm not complaining, man. It's freaking June. And I just got a trout on a Ned rig. I didn't even know, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, guys, there you go. Overall impressions of that micro little rod from Amazon. I feel like it's more of a novelty item than it is something to actually go fish with. I could barely handle, like, fishing with that thing today. You guys didn't see it. Like, I cut some stuff out, but I caught so many sunfish with it that it wasn't even funny. Those worms I was throwing, I don't think that I'd be able to use a lure or anything like that. But if you guys would like to see me try some other type of fishing with it, and if you have a recommendation for that, definitely let me know in the comments below. I think it would be kind of interesting to see how it does against bigger fish but i mean i i just i don't know man if you guys want to see it uh, just let me know other than that guys man it was just a fun chill day just coming down here to the creek i haven't been to this creek in a while as i said before we went crawfish hunting we caught some fish it was, it was a good day man so yeah man pretty much that's going to be the end of this video today as always guys thank you so much for all the support it honestly means the world to me and if you guys did enjoy this video feel free to leave me a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and also if you are not already and if you do like my videos go down there hit that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss a video from me i know youtube can be weird sometimes i always say this go down there hit that notification bell that will give you a notification every single time i put out a video so you never miss a video t-shirt link instagram everything is down there in the description below and yeah guys that's pretty much going to be here for this video today so as always as i said before thank you guys so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video you